Well, congratulations, Fergal. You've beaten Mark Selby for the first time since 2006. Yeah, um, the first two times we played, I beat him. But he's improved a bit since then. Um, and I've, I think he's beaten the last six. And a few of them have just been hammerings. Like, they beat me in the World 10-2 and a couple of whitewashes and stuff. So, um, And again, <laughs> after he pinched the second frame, uh, he needed a snooker. I should have won it earlier when he, you know, missed the yellow and should have won it anyway. And uh, he got a snooker on the pink, so it was 2 nil. so all of a sudden, you know, it's not looking good. It must be really satisfying to be making those frame-clinching breaks consistently in the match like that. Yeah, exactly. Um, I still felt okay at 3-1 down, so I'd kind of forgotten really about the second frame. Um, and, you know, the last couple of weeks I've been up in uh, Northern Ireland practicing with Mark Allen and Jordan Brown, the two of them, obviously particularly Mark, but Jordan as well, they've been playing great, so they've been very, they've really, really sharpened me up because um, they play some, some standards, so if you're any way off your game, you just get beaten all day. So uh, that obviously paid off there, because from 3-1, I've more or less had, more or less had one visit snooker, which, you know, you have to be doing to be Mark and Jordan in practice, you know, so that, that was very pleasing there, just not just to, to win, but to, you know, Score how long? Up. How long has that been for in, in Northern Ireland with, with those guys? Because obviously Mark's super sharp. If you, if you yeah, yeah. No, up, I to be fair, I'm, I'm nearly surprised with Mark, um, when I've been hard on him, that it nearly took him so long to win that tournament because we, I kept saying when he got home, he was playing so well. It was just you just felt like it was coming, um, you know, and his patience and hard work was rewarded. Like it's a fantastic win for him. Um, so I've been doing it really the last year or two. I've probably magnified it more this season because obviously. Ken's been in England, and then Sean's been away a good bit. Um, so it was literally either it was either go up to them or just keep playing on my own. And the last few years I've been playing just too much on my own. And if you play too much on your own, at worst you're rusty coming to the tournaments. Uh, you know, or at best you're rusty, and at worst you can easily just do your head in really. So I've tried to just you know have a couple of days on my own, then go back up to play the lads, and that's the best practice you can get. You know, if you're if you're playing beating them or competing with them. That's as good as you can get. For if I said I've just played too much on my own. It's hard to pick up the pace in matches and sure. just been off the pace. And you must have been relieved at the tail end of last season because I think you finished maybe just it was just outside the sixty four, wasn't it, on the two year, and you stayed on with the one year, which give you, gives you another another two years on tour, which will take you to beyond thirty years on tour, which is a, a, a incredible. Yeah, obviously it was a great. Um, obviously it was disappointing to lose to Liang ten nine to qualify for the World Championships, but. It was more important really the match I won before against Luke. I had a brilliant win, 6-5. That's kept me on the tour because I said I missed out in the 64, but I uh, got one of the two years. So maybe um, having the two years guaranteed as opposed to because well, I've had a bad start to the season. So if I was 66 with a bad start straight off the bat, you know, you'd be under all sorts of pressure. You'd be looking chasing again. Where the fact that I have two years takes a slight bit of pressure off, you know what I mean? But obviously, you don't want to make a bad start and you obviously want to do as well as like, there's no point being on just for two years just to say yeah i played another two years obviously you want to be you know going deep in terms and doing a bit of damage but um yes yeah, so i know i'm delighted to just keep playing and next up for you in the german masters it's a german player simon Lichtenberg. he's beaten amina miri 5-1 uh, just 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 now uh, thoughts ahead of that one yeah he's a good player simon um so again it's, it's another tough match and um, just because i beat mark you know just that was that was a great day. Saturday is another match, another challenge, um, and I'm sure I'll have to be at my best to win again. Good luck, Fergal. Thank you very much.